Hello, you guys. If you can see me, I am just making sure that my technology is working before I get started. Okay, I do see that I'm live. Awesome. So I know I'm a couple minutes. Well, technically, I'm a couple minutes later than I said I would be, but a little bit earlier than I said I would be the next time. So anyway, super, super excited for this live. I'm going to take you on what to me feels like the journey with Norwex. Where can you go? Where can you go from here? The workshop is pretty much finishing up, but what are your options now with Norwex? So let me just quickly share my screen. And I would love for you to say hi when you get on. Say hashtag replay if you are watching the replay. Um, and let me share my screen. I am live in the group. Okay, share screen. And I want to share this entire screen. Okay, let me make sure that this is working right. I want to turn my sound up. Okay, anyway, I want to take you on this journey to show you what Norwex has the potential to offer you. So let's get started. All right, next page. Okay, so here is the first question that I have for you. Do any of these sound like you? I'm on a strict budget. I value clean products need a tribe, maybe a community of people that you're like looking for that community. I want all of the products. If you've been here and you're like, okay, I already love Norwex or I'm starting to love Norwex and I want a lot, maybe that's me. I could use extra money. I know that's me. Okay. I need a, flex a flexible job. If any of these sound like you, then you're in the right place. Okay. This is a transformative journey and it goes from beginner to problem solver to the desire for that is the path that people take on this journey with Norwex, okay? We all started somewhere that a lot of times people will continue to buy more products because they realize that these solutions in their home are so, so valuable. And then from there, some people decide to host a workshop or to even open up a consultant account. So let's just, I want to dive into a little bit about me and why I know I can help you on whichever path that you choose. So a little bit about me wife to Eddie. So my husband, Eddie, I'm a mother to three. I have a four-year-old Jackson, a two-year-old Braxton, and a one-year-old Aria. I'm an introvert. So I've, I've had people tell me like, Carrie, you do not seem like an introvert. I promise you, promise you that I am. Okay. I was a third grade special education teacher for 16 years. That's where my background is. I have a certification in mindset and life coaching. And now I can officially say I am a leader. I would have never said that 16 years ago. And I'm going to dive a little bit more into that in the next slide. Okay. Some of the things that I can contribute, I've helped over 4,000 new customers make transformations in their homes. I've coached over 200 hosts to have successful events that have generated free product for them and helped their friends and family begin the transformation. I lead a team of over 250 consultants. I've trained and coached hundreds of consultants across my company. So that is a little about me and how I know that I am qualified to help you with, with whatever path seems right for you. Okay. Um, I'm just going to check. I do not see any comments yet. So if possible, is watching it and that's okay. You can totally watch the replay. Of this. Great. So I was not born a leader. I was not born a saleswoman. Okay. This, this is the best picture that I could find. Um, of my teaching journey. So this is me. This is me as a third grade special ed teacher. It was obviously Halloween at the time. But to just tell you a little bit about myself, a little bit digger, digging a little bit deeper. I have a passion for teaching since childhood. When I have four other siblings, when we would play school as, as children, I was always the teacher. I loved creating the assignments. I loved delivering the instruction. I even remember I, it gives me chills. We had a typewriter, okay? We had a typewriter. We thought it was the coolest thing before computers even came out. Um, and I remember creating worksheets for my siblings to do. I would, like, type the things in different spots. I remember creating, like, number circles for math worksheets. Like, I loved teaching since I was a child. So I, I pursued that passion. I went to college. I got my master's degree. I was a special education teacher. I had a master's in literacy. So... I did what I loved. I taught for 16 years, okay? I was also an extreme introvert. Yes, I was a teacher, but this is what I always told people. I teach young kids. So there was something for me that was like, you, when you're in front of young kids, it doesn't feel as intimidating as it might feel 
in front of adults, right? So I told myself I had so many limiting beliefs. I can't even begin to tell you. I have grown so much as a person, but I told myself that I was unable to speak in front of adults. So that is what I believe. I had evidence to tell me, like, Carrie, the last time you had to speak in front of your adults, your hands were shaking like crazy. And I held on to the evidence to support the fact that I was not a leader. I was a follower. I didn't take the spotlight. Those were what I told myself. I can't be successful with something that requires me to be in front of people. Um, I had tried three direct sales prior to Norwalk, all right? I sold jewelry, I sold makeup, and I sold clothing all before I found Norwax. So again, evidence stacked up to say, you've done direct sales. It's not successful for you. So I came into Norwax with a very, very low expectation for myself because evidence was showing me that that's, that was the case, right? Came in with very low expectations because I didn't believe that things were possible for me. My expectations for myself were I wanted more products and I wanted to return my degree. That was the amount of income that I desired to make when I started. I set the bar low. And the reason for that was because when you set the bar low, you can't fail, right? So it's like this tricky thing that your brain does where it's like, if if I don't set myself in a position where I can fail, then I don't have to feel that hard feeling of failure. So I set the bar low, okay? I had zero desire to grow a team. I told you I was not a leader. I follow. I always went with the crowd. I always did what everybody else felt was best. I didn't lead people. Okay. Fast forward a little bit. I was pregnant with my second child, Braxton, my two-year-old. And my husband and I decided like, this Norwex thing is kind of taking off for you. Why don't you take a year off to see where it can go? Just see where it can push you. And you guys, I have not gone back to teach. What I have found is a different way to teach in a different capacity to educate people in a different capacity. And that's why I can sit here and tell you, I am completely qualified for however you decide to pursue the Norwex thing, okay? If it's just a customer, if it's a host, if it's a consultant, I can help you on that journey, all right? I will be honest, I brought my first few recruits onto my team by accident. Again, I wasn't a leader, right? They pursued me. They said that they wanted to try this. I'm like, sure, I didn't think I could help them, but I'm not gonna turn somebody away either. Then my beliefs started changing. I went from working out of fear to trying hard things, trying new things, and feeling a complete sense of empowerment with what I was capable of doing. I pushed myself, Norwex actually pushed me into things that I never thought were possible for me before, okay? I was asked to do a training at National Conference. I looked for every excuse to get an out from it. I didn't want to do it. I told myself I couldn't do it. Carrie, this would require you speaking in front of tons of people. That wasn't for me, but I did it. And afterwards, I felt completely empowered. So if you're sitting here right now with any fears rolling through your head, this is my validation to tell you that those fears are normal. But when you work through them, you will find a new sense of empowerment. And this is where I was most recently at our leadership conference. I spoke on the main stage. I spoke in front of the entire group of Norwex people, and I love it. I love it, okay? I get these tears in my eyes. I feel strongly about the transition that happened to me because I said yes to selling some cloths. I said yes to something that I had very low expectations for, but then I put my, I found a passion and I pushed myself to areas beyond what I thought I was capable of. Okay. So my passion is still teaching, but it's completely transformed in how I teach no longer teach young kids. I teach adults. I teach people how to transform their homes. I teach people how to eliminate toxins from their homes. I teach people how to clean faster because when you have three young kids running around making messes, you need to go to kids. And I teach people how to save money and earn money with whatever path seems right for them. Okay. So here's just a couple of testimonials from some of my some of the people that I've encountered along this journey. Okay, we have Colleen, mother to eight. She in her family daily. She's a farm mom. My husband actually trims cow's feet at her family farm. Okay, so he already knew this family, this Kingston family, prior to me experiencing them in Norwex. Anyway, her husband used paper towels like candy. It was his solution to everything. I mean, even so far as putting it under his 
plate in his bowl when he was eating. She started her Norwex journey by switching to the basic package, the Enviro Call. That is how she got started. Now she hangs up in multiple rooms in her house, and her family has less exposure to toxins, not using disposables, and not spending endless money on paper towels. Okay. Her life has been transformed since starting on this journey. And as she's been along for the ride as a customer, she has brought more and more solutions into her home to make it better. All right. Then we move into Sarah. Sarah hosted a workshop with me. She saved hundreds of dollars hosting. So instead of spending that money, she ac accumulated the product through hosting. She tried things she otherwise wouldn't have. Like when, when you're on a budget, you guys, a budget prevents you from getting new things. Maybe something like mattress cleaner. You're like, okay, I want to eliminate the dust mites, but my budget can't afford it. Hosting is an option. It gives you that potential. All right. The other thing that hosting did for her is that it eliminated chemicals. She no longer spends money in the store on cleaning. She was also able to and willing to introduce her friends and family to it. Her friends and family are now hooked on the face and body cloth. That's what they use. They don't use like body wash and face wash and makeup remover wipes and all of those things that we're constantly spending money on. One of her friends is completely hooked on the body cloth and no longer has to spend that money. Another friend completely hooked on the UV. Another friend completely hooked on the mop system. No longer spending money on the disposable solutions or the disposable mop pads. Okay. These people have become hooked because Sarah was willing to share and allow me to educate her friends and family. She was willing to bring them in so that I could do my job in educating them. And she has saved hundreds of dollars in the process. Okay. So areas of transformation. How can this transform your life? Income. Okay. You can bring in money. Time. You can save time. Your cleaning routine is going to be greatly reduced. You're going to improve your health your family's health, your friend's health, however far you're willing to extend that out outreach. And you're going to help us spread our mission, okay? You're going to help us get Norwex in more people's homes. So those are the areas of transformation. And it is so far beyond that, you guys. Like what Norwex has done for my life and my belief in myself is immeasurable. And it, it's something that I will forever be grateful for, okay? We have a couple more testimonials here. We have Beth. All right. She attended a block party. A block party was where there's multiple hosts. She loved learning from other people. She took a personal challenge during that event to seek out other problems in her house. She's like, I'm going to get this free money from Norwex to spend on what I want. I'm going to find solutions to other problems that I have, and I'm going to use Norwex's money to pay for that. Right. She wanted to learn things to improve in her home, and she used hosting as the vehicle to get there. Since then, her friends and family have started on the journey, and she is helping us to spread our mission because she was willing to host her. Okay. And we're going to look at Lauren. Lauren decided to join Norwex. So she started with a workshop, okay, the workshop with me. She decided to join. She met her goals quickly. When she met her goals, she was rewarded with shopping free money. She was rewarded with free product. She was rewarded with saving extra money for her family. And now she has been able to change the way she and completely save money on the cleaning supplies, but also on things that she's now able to do with her family because of that extra income. I have not had a chance to look at comments in the group yet because I, I don't want to lose my train of thought. I will check those at the end. All right. So here's our goal. Here's our goal for this workshop. We have, we have educated you on putting time back in your day, putting money back in your pocket. We want to save you that time. Your time is better spent elsewhere. Your time is not best spent cleaning. Your time is best spent with the friends and family and loved ones that you have. That is where we want to put your time, not in cleaning, okay? And we want to put money back in your pocket because you don't have to spend so much on cleaning supplies, consumable cleaning supplies that always come up and we need to keep buying more. The solutions that we have here can allow you to make a one-time purchase and use it again and again and again, all right? There are three paths that you can use for this, okay? We have the customer path, we have the host path, and we have the consultant path. No matter which one of those you choose, they're all good options. If you're a beginner, you might be thinking, okay, I want to start by buying a couple, a couple of things. Maybe you start with a basic pack. Maybe you start with a safe haven five package, all right? That is an option. If you're on the customer path, you might also just be looking in the workshop for 
what solutions do I need? I know I love Norwax. What other solutions can I bring into my home and you can stay on that customer path, okay? Or you can move to path two, which is what some of our other hosts have done that I've shared with you. And you can bring Norwex into people's homes. You can help your friends and family find these solutions, save their time, save their money. And at the same time, you can earn your Norwex for free. If you're willing to let me do my job and educate your friends and family, you just need to be willing to bring them in for me to do that, okay? And then path three, if you're like, I want to do all of these things, but I want to do it exponentially. I want to help people transform. I feel so strongly in this. Maybe your desire is income-based. Maybe you want to make some extra income. No matter which of those you choose, all of them keep you on the journey to a healthier, cleaner, safer, better. All right? Um, so here are the common mistakes. Um, the four mistakes that I see people make most often when they're thinking about this. If you're coming from a place of limiting beliefs, just like I was. So this is why I can speak so strongly to this because I have experience, all right? I know what limiting beliefs feel like. You're, you you tell your brain, I'm going to wait to try the products before I host the workshop. That allows you the, the, the ability to not fail, right? Like we talked about, fear of failure. If I say I'm going to wait, if I don't sign up to host a workshop right now and I say I'm going to wait till I try the products, well, then if my friends and family don't want to try it, or I don't have a big enough friend circle, that sort of thing, it keeps you from the, it keeps you in that place of protection from failure, right? I am here to tell you, I feel confident in my job. If you are willing to bring your people in, I feel confident in my ability to help your friends and family as well. So it's not, it's not on you being able to do that. It, that's my job. Let me be the educator. That is my passion. I just need you to bring people in so that I can do that. Okay, so waiting to try the product, that's the first mistake because what happens is life goes on and then you forget about it and you it just doesn't happen, right? Another mistake people make, they think they don't know enough people. That's a thought, okay? I'm here to tell you, everybody cleans. Every single person in this world cleans and every single person in this world needs solutions, okay? I've like I said in the beginning, I've helped over 4,000 customers make transformations in their home. I didn't know all those people. I by far did not know all those people. My circle started small, but that circle was influenced and able to expand because people like you were willing to invite their friends and family to experience it, okay? That is what it takes. Another mistake, think I've tried these things before. So if you're kind of thinking about the opportunity, you're like, I've tried it before, I get it. I told you, I tried to direct this before too. They didn't take off. This is where my passion lied. This is the place where I know that problems can be solved and lives can be made. So that is a limiting belief, okay? If you are willing to try new things, if you are willing to step out of your comfort zone, and if you're willing to just give it a try, I can help you be successful with this. Okay. And then the last mistake that I see people make all the time is waiting until life slows down. Okay. They say, I will host a workshop when my life is less busy. I'm feeling very busy right now. I get it. I am also extremely busy. Three kids in general, keep me busy and working. We have multiple other businesses between my husband and I, like I understand busy. I, I will tell you, I promise you, it's kind of like Thinking that thought that like when your kids are out of diapers, you're going to save so much money. Or when your kids are done with daycare, you're going to save so much money. But what ends up happening is that money is just replaced with the next activity that they're in. Okay. They start travel sports, they start whatever, and you're still spending that money. It's in a different capacity. It's the same thing. with It's not going to change. We are a culture of seeking out busy. It's what we do, right? When we're working so much of our lives, we are used to being busy. And that, I, I can't even tell you how many people I've encountered through retirement that are busier than they were when they were working full time. We take on what we think we can handle. And so because of that, we are always busy. So if you're waiting to book your workshop until life slows down, it's not going to slow down, okay? If you're waiting to give the consultant opportunity a try until life slows down, it's not going to slow down. You have to decide that it's the right time for you because now is the time. All right. All right. So here is, I want you to meet our, 
All right. Our team, our, our bigger team, our bigger umbrella team is one of the top three teams in the entire United States. And I say that with so much passion because we are known for working together to support one another. If you are not, if you decide to take this leap as a consultant or even take the leap to host a workshop, know that we work together and we come up with things that will benefit the whole team. So if you're, if you're hosting a workshop with me, we work together on things to bring to customers. So it is such a supportive group of people that we work with. The number, the top three in the USA is not for no reason. Okay. Collaboration. You see me here with my friend, Ali Gala. We have joined our teams. We lead our teams as one because heads are better than one. You're sharing the work. You're sharing the strategies, you're sharing your skills, like I train in a certain way, I train in a certain way. We have different ideas that we bring to the table when we're creating our workshops in that certain approach to our team. So if you were to, to embark on a journey with us, rest assured that we would share those resources with you as well. It will not feel like you're in a place of founder, okay? Community, we do life together. This, I, I can't even tell you, the Norwex, the Norwex family has become one of my closest group of friends. You can see here, we were at National Conference in Florida, in Orlando, Florida. I brought my baby. That, the, the picture next to the family, that is Debbie Bolton. She's the co-founder of Norwex. And she is obsessed with babies. It is a family environment. Again, tears in my eyes, because I feel so passionate about what this has done for me and what I know it can do for you as well, okay? All right. Let's take a look at Janet. All right. Janet Zimmerman, she is a consultant. She's not on my personal downline, but she's a consultant in our bigger team. And this is what she said after attending the leadership conference. And I, I'm going to read this. I know you can read, but I'm going to read this because it, it, it makes a really big impact. Okay. Still heading home from leadership conference. It was amazing. And I know I've heard our team is unique, but I don't think I fully realized it until I met ladies who receive no help and support from their upline or tech. They wished they were in our group. I want to express my appreciation first to Melissa Lang for her awesome vision, your support, my personal jacket leader, Elizabeth Mellon, who is also so supportive. But it doesn't stop there. All our jacket leaders and almost jacket leaders are truly amazing to all of us. I've learned so much from all of them. If you are not taking advantage of the training options that this group this group offers, resolve to do so and plan to come to the conference in August in Orlando. This was Janet's takeaway after attending her first leadership conference and realizing how much our team is set apart from so many others. And it's it's one of those things when you're on our team, until you have those conversations with other people, you don't necessarily know. Okay. Next, we're going to take a look at just the resource that our team has. I need to show you this. It's a team training website. So if you decided like this is something I, I'm going to give it a go, have a team training website that is constantly changing to have the best training to bring you. Again, we work as a unit. You'll see many leaders in your team training. So if you're a new consultant, there are trainings geared specifically to you. If you're like, okay, I want to do online demos. This literally walks you through what to do to have a successful online demo. You are not going to be alone. You are going to be so supported in this journey. Okay. All the training. So once you're past your first 30 days, how can you continue to make money? The other thing that I love about this page is that it's obstacles, all right? Here are some things people can across. Here are some the humps that they have to get over. What will people say about me? My teammates aren't answering me. I can't get out of my circle. So all of these common things that come into play for people, we have support for you in that regard, okay? So that is a resource that you will be plugged into when if you decide that this is an option, okay? So what are your kit options? Where can you go? Okay, first, you can you can be, you can choose that one to be the customer. There are resources there. I've built a cart for you, so you know what to do with that. If you're like, all right, I'm willing to invite my friends because I feel strongly that you can make an impact for my friends, host a workshop. Choose a booking bag. Those are available until midnight. Choose a booking bag that 
you would like after your qualifying party and book an event with me. Be willing to invite your friends in and let me do my job to educate them and help their life be cleaner, safer, better. All right. And then we have some options for opening a consultant account. We have a standard kit. You can get this entire kit with the MOP system, a whole safe haven five package, a rubber brush, face and body plus, all these things you can get it for $9.99. Right? That's one option. We have two risk free options which change monthly. Um, and they're with the risk free options, there's zero sales applications. Okay. Zero. No, like if you're in that limiting belief place where you're like, okay, I, I'm I'm willing to give it a try, but what if I fail? These might be an option for you. Zero sales obligation, nothing happens. You purchase your kit, give it a try. We trust you with all of our resources. But if it's not for you, there's no no risk, no penalty, nothing. Okay. And then if you're like, okay, I'm ready for a consultant account, I want to give it a try, you can choose one of these. But this is an add-on. The upgrade package is an add-on kit that you can choose when you open a consultant account and it gives you like all the things to truly, truly transform. Okay. All right. And lastly, which path is going to be right for you? It's time to take action. And this is what I would love for you to do. Okay. I would love for you at this point to text me one of these keywords. All right. If you're like, I'm going to stay on path one, either you're brand new or you, you want to continue your journey as a customer, just text the word product to 716 466 1213. All right. Then I can help you along here. If you're like, okay, I, I trust you. You've proven yourself. I, I really feel confident that you can help my friends and family if I bring them in. Text the word host to my phone number there, okay? Text host to that number. And if you're like, all right, maybe this consultant, this, this consultant thing has changed your life, Terry. I'm willing to give it a try. How, what, uh, you may have other questions. I want you to text FAQ to my number, okay? Those are the different take action steps right now. Then I can do my job helping you with whatever works best for you. Okay. So I am going to, I do not see any comments here or wait, maybe there is one. Um, oh, I see Nancy. Great teacher, leader, friend, and mom and wife. And Nancy is one of the people that I met along this journey. And we've become very, very close. So you guys, it's incredible the relationships that you will build along the way. I just can't speak enough about it. So I hope that was helpful. I would love for you to text me which path seems right for you right now. Know that that path may change as time goes on. That's all part of the journey. All right. Thank you for hearing me out today. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. That's it. Bye.